In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a Minecraft server for free. So the first thing you wanna do is go to your desktop and right click on it and we're gonna go to new and we're gonna create a new folder and name it server. Once you've done that, go to your web browser and type in download Minecraft server and select the first option, which is minecraft.net download server. That'll bring you to this page here and select download Minecraft server and it should start downloading in the top right corner. Now, once it's finished downloading, open up the folder and it'll likely be in your downloads. So what we're going to do is drag this server into our folder that we've created on our desktop. So I'm gonna drag it here and then I'm gonna put it into the server. Now let's open up this folder and you'll see it right here. And in order to run this file, you will need Java. So let's go back to Google. Once you're here, type in Java download and scroll down a little bit until you see Java downloads for all operating systems. Then you wanna go ahead and select your operating system and select the file to begin downloading it. Once you've finished downloading it, go through the installation process for Java and then you should be ready to start your server. Now, if you're having any issues running your server file, what I recommend you do is go to the description and I'll have two links. The first one is the Java development kit. Me personally, I was getting errors and once I installed this, it fixed my issue. And if you're still having problems after you've done that, type in jar fix in Google and try these first two links by downloading what's there and that can fix your issue as well. So now we're going to go ahead and run this server file, which is going to create our server. And you'll see we had a number of different folders pop up. So the first thing we're going to open is the EULA, which is essentially just the terms and conditions you're agreeing to by running the server. So what you wanna do is go where the EULA equals false area is, and we're going to remove the false and we're gonna type in true. Then you wanna go up to the file in the top left corner and select save. Now, when we back out of this, we'll be able to get our server up and running. Do bear in mind under the server properties file, if we open this up, this is where you can customize a lot of different things, such as the game mode, for example, it's currently on survival and you can change this to creative, for example, and there's a bunch of different things down here that you can change as well. So let's now back out of this and we're going to select server again, which is going to start up our actual server. So it may take just a few moments for it to boot up. It does use a lot of memory, as you'll see in a moment, and you'll see that it's starting to spawn all the different things for our world, and now it's actually running. So now that it's fully running, I'm gonna start up the Minecraft launcher, and then I'm gonna select play. Then once you're at the home screen for Minecraft, we're gonna select multiplayer, and then we're going to select add server. Now you can change the server name to anything you want. We'll just type in video server. And for the server address, you wanna type in local host, no spaces or anything like that. And then once you're ready, just select done. Now it should appear in a moment and you can see right here, video server, a Minecraft server. So let's go ahead and select that and we're gonna to go to join server. Now it's going to connect us to this server. And in the meantime, I'm gonna show you what's going on here. You can see that everything's generated and it shows that I've joined the game. So now it's just a matter of playing your game and you are now officially playing Minecraft on your own server. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.